Are you looking for your ideal job in IT? I'm Jonathan Pollinger and in this video I'm going to give you five tips on how to land your perfect job in IT. Let's get into it. So the first thing you can do is to optimize your profile. So with your profile, there's a number of things that you can do to enhance the prospect of people finding you. And there are in fact some specific job features on your profile. So let's talk about those first. So first of all is open to work. So you've got this section open to work here. And if I click on this, you can see that I've got this set up for job titles that I'm interested in, location types, locations, start date and employment types. So if you're looking for IT roles, then clearly you want to specify these fields accordingly, but pretty handy. And this helps you to show up in searches when recruiters or agencies are searching for IT professionals. And also, of course, it appears on your profile. So if somebody finds your profile, then they can see that you are open to work. You'll also notice that there is a, a flash here on my profile picture that says that I'm uh, open to work. So I'm just going to point out a few other key features with your profile. For more information on optimizing your profile, check the link on the top right hand Hand side of this uh, video right now and uh, there's a full video on optimizing your profile there but just a few key features with regard to job search so profile picture and cover picture is important so you want to present the right image here of a, an IT professional in the uh, cover space here and the uh, profile image here Headline is important. So this is significant in terms of discovery and search. So you want to make sure here that you are using keywords and you're clearly explaining the area of IT that you work in. And you might even want to say that you are currently looking for a position uh, because again, that uh, phrase will show up in searches so that uh, recruiters and agencies can uh, can find you. I want to make sure that your contact info is on here and all filled out so anybody interested in recruiting you can um, get in touch. Particularly important is uh, this one here, the email. So a lot of people log in with their personal email but do make sure that your primary email is your work email and uh, that that is displayed there then there's a an extra link that you can put in here if you've got curator mode now everybody's going to have curator mode by default soon but it is worth putting in this uh, extra link here and perhaps that could point to uh, a blog that you have or a website or your cv uh, or anything else that is uh, is relevant and to add that link if you click on the edit pencil symbol here scroll down to the bottom you'll see that there's a custom button go to edit custom button and you can add that there other points on your profile, if we scroll uh, down here, are the feature section. So you might want to highlight particular content that is relevant. Going to come on to sharing key content later in this uh, in this video. And a couple of other sections that I wanted to mention are. Uh, experience obviously make sure that that is up to date um, in terms of your roles to show that you have got the necessary experience to land your next uh, IT job and uh, then we want to look at uh, skills uh, which we're getting into here so make sure that you've got the relevant uh, skills listed and even more important than that is recommendations so recommendations I think they, they provide a, a higher currency that they're, they're better value than the the skills because people actually have to write um, uh, from a blank sheet of paper and uh, acknowledge that you're good at, uh, at what you're doing. So, um, and they're also very um, authentic as well because they're tied in with somebody's name and uh, profile picture as we can see. So do ask people uh, for a recommendation. So there's a few pointers there in terms of uh, how to optimize your profile for job search. So tip number two is to create relevant content. So the actual act of posting content is relatively straightforward. You can go to the home page, as you can see here on LinkedIn, click in the start post 
box and just literally start typing here. And if you want to add photos, you can uh, do that by clicking on add media. Also worth noting that you can add PDFs, which could be handy if you wanted to add your CV, for example, or any sort of research, any sort of like white papers or technical documents perhaps that you wanted to share on LinkedIn. So it's important to create relevant articles, uh, relevant posts, um, creating videos related to any sort of IT topics that you're passionate about. This will demonstrate your knowledge and interest in IT. And when people start to engage with your content, then that will give you an opportunity to engage with them. That will help the algorithm kick in and you'll become more visible across the LinkedIn network. So a few ideas, maybe a few sort of like trend sort of topics that you could talk about. So things like cyber security, AI is very popular at the moment. Cloud computing is another one. And particularly if you've got your own point of view around these topics that can really, really help. Finally, uh, how about creating a video CV? So this can really make you stand out from the crowd because probably about 95% of CVs are Word or PDF documents. So why not take the time to create a video which you can upload on LinkedIn. And as in the previous tip, tip number one, you can actually feature that on your profile and tell the story, tell the story of why you're looking for a job, why you're looking to improve your career. If you've got any situation where you've kind of uh, overcome adversity, um, solved a problem, uh, anything like that, where you can really sort of like tell a story in terms of how you've turned a situation around, that will stand you in really good stead. But overall, just, just make it really sort of like personal and this will help you come across nicely in the video and help you stand out amongst other potential candidates. So there you go, a few ideas on creating content on LinkedIn. So in tip number three, I'm going to show you how to grow your network on LinkedIn to improve your chances of getting a decent career in IT. So the reason for increasing your network on LinkedIn is twofold. So first of all, it increases your visibility, increases the visibility of your posts and any articles that you publish because a wider body of people can now see them. Secondly, your direct connections are able to communicate with you and and more importantly, you're able to communicate with them so you can reach out to them and ask them about potential vacancies in IT. But first of all, you need to find somebody to connect with. This might be through a second or perhaps third connection that has liked or commented on something and they appear in your news feed. Secondly, you could use the search. So let's give a demonstration of that. So if I search for IT manager here, gonna get a number of different results. It's people that we're interested in. So let's select the people uh, button at the top here. And that gives us a number of filters at the top that will help us narrow down these results from 3.6 million here. So let's click on location and suggest that I'm going to work in Bristol. So gonna narrow that down here to 3,600 results. It's a good idea to display second connections. So that way there will be a mutual connection. So you will both know a particular person that you can perhaps reference when you get in touch to connect with the people on this list. So that brings us down to more manageable 1100 people here. So I'm just gonna select Liam uh, Roberts here and then I could follow, but we want to connect and then I can personalize the invitation. So I'm gonna click on add a note and write a personalized note there off to Liam, pointing out perhaps that I am looking for a job in, uh, in IT. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You'll notice that uh, we are now limited to um, five 
on some people are limited to 10 invitations per per month but you can send out any number of connection requests without the notes and after that you are able to uh, communicate so i would suggest connecting with fellow it professionals recruiters agencies personalize your connection request explaining why you are connecting pointing out that you're looking for a new role in IT and whilst you're at it and perhaps even before you connect make sure that you engage with their content by liking commenting and perhaps sharing it uh, too and wider than that go for companies as well build your network in that way so make sure that you follow companies and engage with their content if you're interested in working with them so a few ideas there on how to grow your network on linkedin So tip number four builds on growing your network, which we covered in the previous tip. So this involves going back to your old college or old university and potentially contacting people there. So let's demonstrate that one. So if we look for Cardiff University, which is where I went to university, uh, we can click on their page here. And handily, there is a, an alumni section here. So if we go to alumni, we can then actually search all the alumni here over any time period. I'm, I'm going to leave it for this full time period here, but I could actually narrow that down to when I was at university and potentially come across people that I, uh, I remember. But I'm going to leave it open to that whole uh, uh, time period there. And I'm just going to search for IT. So I could put in information technology, but just going to search for IT here. And you'll see that I get a number of options, people that are working in IT, or at least do have uh, the word IT in their profile. So I could reach out to these people, as explained before, uh, engaging with their content, and then connecting with them, explaining that we went to the same university, and explaining that I am looking for IT work. So quite a, a niche one there, but perhaps worth pursuing to give you that extra opportunity of finding a decent career in IT. So the fifth and final tip relates to the specific jobs features that LinkedIn have that help you find a better job in IT. So we need to go to the uh, job section here, the jobs icon on the top menu bar. So if we click on that, we get into the jobs area here. And you'll see on the left that there are a number of options here that are quite handy. So you can set application settings, you can get look, some, look at some videos for um, guidance on finding jobs, even build your CV or your resume based on your LinkedIn profile, some interview preparation materials there. You can demonstrate your skills by taking courses, you can set your preferences for job search, and this is where your saved jobs, so any job that comes up in the search, you can save and it appears in this area. And that's really the, the key sort of feature, the database of jobs that you can search. So let's demonstrate that. So if we search for information technology specialist, for example, we had a whole bunch of jobs here that, uh, that show up and I've got a previous filter here, uh, set a director level so I can take that off and you'll see that more um, jobs will be made available here. So if it was these kind of like jobs that I was looking for, I can set uh, an alert here and that will handily notify me when any new vacancies become available which is pretty useful because that saves me having to, to go back and manually input an additional search there. So LinkedIn jobs area, lots of features specifically for job seekers. There is uh, the job search that's available in the main search area, but I'd advise you to go into this area because you've got more filters and other useful job features that help you find your ideal job. So that's it. How to improve your career or find a new job in IT. Now that you've watched those tips, you should be in a good position to land that perfect job in IT. For more tips, like and subscribe to the NILC YouTube channel. See you again next time.